Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this op-amp circuit and here we have been given that one piezoelectric sensor generates a charge QP which can be given by this expression. So here we have been asked to find the output of the peak detector after the 10 charge cycles. So if you see this circuit, then due to the negative feedback, here we can apply the concept of the virtual short. That means here the voltage V plus will be equal to V minus. And here if you see the V plus is equal to 2.5 volt. That means voltage at the V minus will be also equal to 2.5 volt. That means at this node the voltage will be equal to 2.5 volt. And as you can see these both capacitors are connected at the same potential. And because of that no additional charge will get stored across these capacitors. So whatever charge which is generated by this piezoelectric sensor will get stored across this 100 nanofarad capacitor. And because of that, let's say the voltage across this capacitor is equal to Vc of t. So as you are aware, the charge Q can be given as C times V. That means the voltage Vc of t can be given as this Q of t divided by C. So here at this end we will get the output of this op -amp circuit, right? And at this node the voltage is equal to 2.5 volt. So if we apply the KVL then we can write this 2.5 volt minus Vc of t is equal to V0. So here to find the output voltage we need to find the waveform of this Vc of t. That means here this voltage Vc of t is equal to Q of t divided by C where this Q of t is the charge which is generated by this piezoelectric sensor that is equal to 0.1 times sin 10 to the power 4 times pi t micro coulomb divided by C that is equal to 100 nanofarad. That means Vc of t is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 times sin 10 to the power 4 times pi t divided by 10 to the power minus 7. That means the voltage across this capacitor that is Vc of t is equal to sin of 10 to the power 4 times pi t. So we can say that the output voltage V out is equal to 2.5 volt minus sin of 10 to the power 4 times pi t. So graphically if we see this output waveform then it will look like this. And as you are aware the peak detector detects the peak value. So in this case the output voltage of the peak detector after the 10 charge cycles will be equal to 3.5 volt. That means for the given question the output of the peak detector after the 10 charge cycle will be equal to 3.5 volt. 